We know there are snow emergencies in effect in many parts of the region. That's right. For a better look at the road conditions right now, we get back out to our Skylar Eagle. Cruising around in the mobile storm tracker this morning, working our way out west. Skylar, the last time we checked in, we were moving into the Johnstown area where the snow could be a little bit heavier. How are things looking? Well, Ryan, Christina, we passed through Johnstown. We actually just passed through Fonda as well, heading back towards I-90. Again, just giving you a look at this section of the region, the snow still coming down pretty consistently over the last hour, hour and a half that we've been out here. I know it's a little hard to see, but the roads are a little bit covered. We've seen a number of plows out and about. We actually just passed one just now. Um, so they're definitely working on clearing the roads again. Just make sure you're giving them space, taking it slow because with the snow consistently falling over the last few hours, those roads are still going to be covered. They're still going to be slushy. It's still going to be wet. So definitely um, possibility for some slippery conditions if you are heading out this way, especially with the higher snow totals that we are seeing as we're driving around again. We'll continue to keep you posted on the road conditions out west throughout the morning uh, here in the mobile storm tracker. For now, reporting live from the mobile storm tracker, I'm Skyler Eagle, sponsored by Curtis Lumber. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Skyler. Again, we are seeing more and more districts reporting whether or not they are closing or delaying the start time of school. Of course, we have details on snow emergencies as well. The latest storm tracker forecast at news10.com. Keep that in mind. A handy resource for you.